Welcome back, everyone. I'm here with model Nakeem Gatwek, who's inspiring everybody to be comfortable in their own skin. As a model, she still has trouble finding the right makeup for her complexion, so I invited my next guest, who's an expert in beauty. She's blowing up the internet with her tutorials and challenging the makeup industry to provide a broader spectrum of skin tone colors. Please welcome host of the web series, The Darkest Shade, Nima Tang. Hello, Nima. <laughs> How are you? Good, how are you? So nice to meet you. So uh, <laughs> how did you get started doing your web series? Well, I was watching a lot of YouTube videos and I could tell like there wasn't a lot of representation for dark skin, especially when it came to makeup. So I started doing the darkest shade to bring awareness to the lack of inclusion and the lack of um, diversity that certain makeup brands do, don't have. That's terrific. Now let's get started. What is the first tip you're going to show us? So the first tip is foundation. Foundation is like your base. It's the most important thing. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you get a foundation that uh, matches your undertone. Um, if you get a foundation that has the wrong undertone, you're going to end up with an ashy face. What does or undertone mean? The, the, the undertone is like the underlying color that comes out from it. your skin. So I'm just, the color that I'm using right now on Yakim is 560 Suede C. And this is from Lancome, and Lancome has a really good shade range. It goes very, very dark, and it has a lot of different undertones. And this undertone matches her perfectly. It literally blends straight into her skin. Now, do you know what colors to use when you, when you see someone right away, or do you have to try out a couple um, of different? It depends. Sometimes if, if, if it's not a, a person that I've worked on a lot, um, I would have to test them first. But since Nyakim and I have almost a similar skin tone, it's easier for me to kind of judge it from there. Mm -hmm. And so after the foundation, mm -hmm. what, what would be the next thing that you do? The next thing I would go ahead and do is apply some concealer. Um, concealer is very important as well. It brings forward the parts of your face that you want to highlight and accentuate. Um, so it doesn't just mean like cover something up, because I'm looking at both of you and I'm thinking, what are you trying to conceal? Like your skin is flawless so is it to, <laughs> it's to bring certain things out? yeah it's basically to add dimension to your face to chisel your face out however you want it to. okay you not nobody needs makeup but everybody wants to wear makeup right mm -hmm. right so with concealer the one of the biggest mistakes I've seen is um, people use too much of it okay so when you start using too much concealer it ends up um, lightening your face a considerable amount. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure you use less is more. Go with the less is more approach so that you don't have to worry about blending it out and having that problem with your face being three shades lighter than what you actually are. Mm -hmm. so. so after you do the concealer, mm -hmm. I, I, it's very subtle what you're doing. Yes. Very subtle. So what's next? We have powder. Yes, powder is not on the table. Oh, no powder? We'll skip. You don't need the powder. Screw it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but with powder, you have to make sure you find a powder that doesn't have a white undertone or a white. It's going to give you a flashback. So you have to make sure you get a, a powder that doesn't give you that flashback. The only flashbacks I'm having are to junior prom when I could have never gotten close to a girl like either one of you. <laughs> Now, what do you have for her eyes? For eyes, um, she's already got an amazing eye look right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and talk to you guys about it. With dark skin, sometimes it's hard. Uh, the, our skin tone takes over certain colors, so you have to lighten the base a little bit and okay. then add a transition shade on there, and that'll help those colors pop just like they've done with her right okay, now. Okay, and what about for the lips? What do you use the for lips, that? The lips, one of my biggest problems is that people seem to think that dark skin can't wear nude lipsticks or bright lipsticks. One of my favorite colors to wear is a red lip. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some red lipstick on her. Okay. Um, the thing is, people try and put you in a box and that's a really big issue for me because anybody can wear anything with the right amount of confidence and a good lip liner, you can pull <sighs> off anything. It would be so awful if I asked you a question you can't answer me right now. <laughs> <laughs> So, when you lived in Buffalo, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did you have any favorite hangouts, you know, like pizza joints, stuff like that, you know? Oh my gosh. Hello? Hakeem, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I love it. This is amazing. I yeah. love wearing bright color, like especially on lipstick. Mm -hmm. That's one of my it. favorite yeah. lipsticks. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. you're both incredible. I'm honored to have had you here. Nakeem and Nima, thank you so much.